Hi, uh, today we will cover uh, transaction script uh, design pattern. This uh, transaction script design pattern belongs to domain logic patterns and uh, this domain logic patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First we will see the explanation of uh, transaction script pattern. This is explanation. Organizes uh, business logic by procedures where each procedure handles a single request from the presentation. Uh, we will see one example so that you will understand uh, this sentence. Uh, here you can see a client and uh, client wants to book uh, one hotel room. Uh, the room number is 142. So this is one uh, business logic. So for this business logic as per uh, this transaction script design pattern, uh, we have to write uh, one procedure. So this is the procedure, room book uh, procedure. Uh, and another name of uh, this procedure is uh, transaction script. So what this procedure or transaction script will contain? So this procedure or transaction script will contain uh, steps to book the hotel room number 142. So what are the steps? So first uh, we have to check uh, the room is available or not. Uh, so we have to check in DB that uh, room is booked by some uh, somebody else or not. If it is not booked and uh, if the room is available, uh, then uh, these steps will uh, the steps will uh, return. Uh, okay, room is available. Then what we have to do is we have to calculate the price for that particular room and uh, client has to uh, pay the money. So once uh, uh, once amount is uh, paid then just book the room and update the database uh, as the particular room is booked and uh, then we have to just commit this whole transaction. Okay. So this is the room book uh, procedure. Uh, so the business logic is uh, book the hotel room. For this business logic, we have uh, written one procedure. The procedure has multiple steps to book the hotel uh, room number. Okay, and uh, uh, the class and uh, method will look like this: public class hotel, and uh, method is uh, book room number, uh, and you have to pass uh, uh, room number as a parameter. The method is book room, and you have to just pass the room number and uh, what this method uh, does is uh, it will check availability of the room uh, if a room is available just to calculate the price and uh, book the room and uh, commit all the transaction okay so this whole thing is one transaction script or procedure okay and uh, suppose say another uh, business logic is there uh, like to cancel the uh, uh, room number 142 in the particular hotel okay so client send request to the server uh, i want to cancel the room and for this particular uh, business logic we have to write a uh, procedure the procedure name is uh, cancel procedure and it also called uh, transaction script so this cancel procedure uh, what it will contain is it contains steps to cancel the room uh, room number 142 in the particular hotel so first step is uh, it will check uh, whether that particular uh, room number 142 is uh, booked by the uh, user if yes okay uh, it will just calculate the refund price how much uh, money it has to uh, refund to the client uh, so once it calculate the refund uh, price uh, then uh, it will deposit to the particular user bank account and uh, and just cancel the room okay so once cancel the room the database uh, will be updated as like uh, 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 the particular room is cancelled so once these st steps are over and uh, we have to just commit the transaction okay and uh, cancel uh, room method will look like this cancel room and you have to just pass the room number and it will uh, do the steps uh, first it will check uh, the user book the room if yes then calculate the refund price then uh, uh, then uh, refund the price to the user and then just cancel the room and uh, commit the transaction so this uh, so book hotel room number is one business logic and uh, this cancel hotel room number is uh, one business logic so there are two business logic for each business logic uh, we have a separate procedure okay to handle the uh, client uh, request to book the hotel or the cancel the hotel uh, so now if you read this one you will understand organizes business logic by procedures so we have two business logic and uh, two business logic has uh, two different uh, procedures 
where each procedure handles a single request from the presentation so in this case um, one proce procedure is handling uh, booking the hotel and uh, another uh, procedure is handling uh, cancel the hotel okay so that is what uh, this uh, transaction uh, script design pattern says and uh, when we can uh, use this design pattern if uh, business logic is uh, not complex uh, we can use this pattern uh, suppose if it involves uh, a less number of uh, tables and if uh, business logic is uh, not much complicated then uh, we can go for uh, this uh, transaction script design pattern and uh, this is about uh, transaction script design pattern and thanks for watching bye